Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update from me, Martin. Uh, I'm an Inkscape developer trying to develop features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Uh, thank you for joining me for another week. We're going to talk about the new point release, um, margins and cropping. Um, but first, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my s sponsors who basically pay for my time to work on Inkscape. Um, this week, I want to give a special shout out to Polyart. Uh, thank you for contributing um, and helping me basically run this project. Um, so let us have a look at the point re release. So yesterday, um, Mark, Marin, and I'm going to throw in Nathan Leather and a bunch of other people uh, got together to make the uh, Inkscape 1.2.1 point release. Usually we wouldn't have released uh, Inkscape so quickly, but uh, we found a couple of critical bugs. I managed to fix those. You probably saw those in a previous video. Now the release is out. So I'm highly recommending that all users upgrade simply because the problems that we found were to do with uh, data corruption and very subtle data corruption too. So if you had the export dialog open and you did some operations and then undid them, uh, you may find yourself with an SVG file that was, um, it, when you saved it, it would not be what was on the screen when you were editing it, which is the worst of all possible worlds because you as a user don't, don't even know that it's broken. Um, but there's been a whole bunch of other fi fixes that have, that have, uh, cropped in. Uh, double shout out to Nathan Lee because he's really been keep, keep keeping all of the back ports together, um, going fishing for fixes that can make it into the point release and uh, shepherding a, a, a lot of this work. So two thumbs up. Awesome work. Um, okay, so what have I been up to apart from some fixes? Um, so... For the past few 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 weeks, in 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 the background, I've been trying to fix and keep going the margins branch. This is the uh, the original margins work that from a few videos ago that I've been sort of trying to get finished. But it's proving tough. There's some specific issues to do with how boxes and values are stored that are just man. I feel like it, it's flattening me on my ass. But you know what? I'm I'm keep ch chugging away. Um, more of it is fixed. It's rendering better. Uh, a big thank you to the people that have tested it and reviewed the code and given me feedback that, that helps me tighten the code so I can get it in. Um, I did add the ability to do percentages on mar margins uh, while I was there. That was one of the com com comments. Um, so, But there's still a bit more work to do. It doesn't quite work quite well. And also, I think I broke some stuff. So anyway... Uh, the margins work it continues, and I'll let you know when I finally get that thing merged. Um, but to keep myself happy, I decided to visit a different failure, this, this one from last year. Um, I tried to do uh, a feature where you could crop images. Uh, what this means is basically, so you have a raster image that's inside your SVG, and you use the clipping tools to like remove some of the image. Um, if you have very large raster images, then you can find yourself having a very large SVG file, even though most of the raster isn't actually being used. Um, and so what that Python extension did was it, it tried to remove as much of the, of the excess as possible. And while the cropping part worked, um, the repositioning the, the resulting SV, uh, the resulting raster inside the SVG again, was hopelessly bad. Like it could not put the, the the raster back in to the location that you expected it, which basically means it's junk. Like you can't use a cropping tool where the image you're crop, crop, cropping migrates around around the can canvas. Um, so this different attempt, not a Python extension built into Inkscape itself. Uh, it, it it uses uh, uh, GDK picks, picks buffs to directly uh, edit the the raster and save it back and doing all of the modifications and all of the tra transforms necessary. Um, it looks really nice. There's been some testing and some co comments on the user experience. Didn't know whether to ha have it as a menu. Uh, I think we've settled for a right click. So basically the idea is if you have an image 
with a clipping region and you right click on it, you get a new menu that says uh, crop. Um, and predominantly this is not to make Inkscape a raster image editor. This is not really what it's about. It's more about like cleaning your SVG so that your SVG has fewer dead pixels, pixels that are not being used on the screen and hopefully may improve your perform perform performance. Uh, if you have a lot of ras rasters, especially if they're very large ones. Um, but we'll see. It's not, it's not something that I'm going to spend a huge amount of time on. It's just going to be a little fe feature that is plans in the future to have like a full fat cropping tool, which is, you know, like editing, clipping regions and stuff. That's not what this is. This is just like a simple, like, please remove, um, dead pic pixels, please. Um, Okay, so that's what I've got up to this this week. Uh, let's talk about some of the other things that ha happened in Inkscape that I didn't do. Uh, first of all, Raphael, great work on the fuzzy uh, PixMap testing. Basically, Inkscape has a bunch of tests that operate to make sure that commits uh, are less li likely to break stuff. We're still trying to build up the test suite. Um, Raphael worked on uh, basically allowing us to, to do better testing with fuzziness. Uh, on different distros because uh, different different distros have different tools available to do the testing. Um, Javier did a whole bunch of work on trying to speed up the win Windows uh, performance, uh, specifically to do with tiling. And a lot of perform performance stuff is about trade-offs. So it's about, uh, you know, how big should the tiles be versus how, you know, what kind of work that you're doing. Um, I know that it was very fiddly, so it's very interesting to hear reports back that the new 1.2.1 1, release is faster on Win Windows, which is great to hear. Uh, and again, I wanted to give a big sh shout out to uh, Nathan Lee, to Marin and to Mark for uh, shepherding this uh, point release. Um, I think it's awesome work, very quick, very efficient. Uh, not nearly as many problems from my perspective, as the website administrator or a person who worked on some of the fixes, um, you guys did an awesome job. Um, so that's about it for this week. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next week.